This video is going to go over a lead dashboard for WordPress and Contact Form 7 that's built with uh, Vue.js. So this is a little example here. You can see comment, status, date, name, number, email, lead, action. I'll kind of go in this over this in a bit more detail here in a second, but I want to show you how it works. So for example, say you have a WordPress site. Um, and you have a, a lead form on here. So, for example, whatever your site is, I'm, I'm working off of a local development, say free estimate. So, for this lead capture form, you capture their first name, last name, email, phone, message. So, first, last, their email, phone. Here is a message. So, this would be a lead for whatever business this is. Let's I'm gonna say demo first name just so it's different. So they send that and contact form seven automatically just sends that all that form data as a as an email. And they have another plugin called Flamingo that will actually capture that and store it in your WordPress database. So if you go to the dashboard and if you have a Flamingo installed, you can go to these inbound messages. And you can see here that we have a line item here with that information that we just submitted. So that's cool and it works, but it's kind of limited. Like you can't really have a status. You can't add notes to this lead and things like that. Sometimes the client don't even like to log into the dashboard or they're too scared that they're going to mess something up on their website. There's all kinds of reasons there. So what I've done is create this lead dashboard. And what it does is it uses the WordPress REST API endpoints and just grabs all this data and puts it into this dashboard. So let's log out here. It does have authentication, so they have to log in in order to see these leads. So notice that lead just popped up, the one that we just submitted. And if you hit this little down arrow here, it has the message, it has their first name and their last name and a little bit of message. And it has this status switch where say the, the client or maybe you have followed up with this lead, you can just mark it as done. So you can easily see which which ones have been completed. The date that it was submitted, again, the first and last name, their phone number, their email. Uh, we'll go over here, over this in a minute. And then we have this little email and an eyeball so you can kind of get more details about it. So if you click this email, it's just gonna pop up your email client and auto-populate their email. Um, here, I'll show you pop that up see it says free code submission this is just my default email client so then if we go into this little eyeball here you can click on that and it shows some of the some more things about this lead so you can click on this down arrow see a little bit about it what page it was submitted on see it was on the free estimate their user agent and yada 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 that's pretty cool you can also add notes about this lead so say one of your staff members or maybe you, you can come in here and say this was a good lead they are coming in tomorrow to discuss or something like that you know and then just hit save and it automatically saves it so if we go back you know you can go in here again and see this is already it's, it's being saved automatically so another thing we can do is go up here you can delete this lead if you didn't like it or you don't want it anymore you can also edit it so we click that edit this screen pops up it's their first name last name all the stuff that they inserted and then we could also give it some other fills that I've added so the type maybe you know you're a plumber or something and you could say this was a repair job the referral, referral source this is good for tracking so you can see what your your marketing budgets doing so this came from Google the lead status we can say that the meeting was set. So these were the comments that they added, of course. So if we submit that, you can see that some other stuff has been added now. The meeting was set. So if we go back to this first page, you can see that the meeting was set. So you can do that for all the leads. And notice also you can search for search for things. So if I wanted if I know the person's name, maybe, you know, John, so it automatically searches all the data about each lead and you can search it. So we'll get rid of that. So th what this is doing is hitting the API every time. 
to get a little bit technical there. But anyway, you can also add your own leads from here. Say, say, say someone calls the business and they didn't submit anything online. You can just hit this plus button or add a lead up here, plus that. So phone call, type in their phone number. They found us through Google, needs attention. This guy wants to talk to the owner. Add that lead. So you can see this big red field came up here. So maybe the owner comes into this lead dashboard once a day or in the evening and he sees which one needs his attention. So once he calls this guy, you can mark it as complete. You can go in here and edit it again, you know, make his changes, do whatever he needs to do. So that's pretty much it. That's the, the lead dashboard that I created for WordPress. Clients that I've used it for really like it so they can just manage all their leads in one location, especially when you have leads pouring in throughout the day. They get kind of, you know, missed sometimes if they're just being sent to an email client, if they don't currently have a CRM system or something like that. Um, there is a blog post on my website that I'll link to below this video if this is something that you may want to add to your website or your workflow or your PPL sites or whatever you're doing out there. Uh, all this code is free on my GitHub page and I do have some documentation on how to set it up if this is something that might be interested. So with that, I uh, hope you enjoy it and feel free to uh, reach out if you have any questions.